Hello folks, I'm Odin's back. 33, welcome back to Let's Play Tales of the Abyss, part number 127, yeah. I know, like I keep mentioning, it's a lot of parts. Uh, on the last part, we actually took a brief, very brief visit into uh, Eldrin, uh before leaving so we can do some of the side stuff we weren't able to do without having gone in there, which was get the Jewel of Guardios, uh, one of Guy's ultimate weapons, allowing him to do his second Mystic Art. Which we haven't seen yet, but we will see that in action. Um, as well as getting the final battle costumes from Emperor Peony. Did that too. Uh, what we're going to do now though... Oh yeah, and there's a bunch of like important uh, cutscene stuff in Kessidonia as well. <laughs> what we're going to do now is we're actually going to do some mini-games. Um, which I haven't practiced at all, so I can't wait to see how these go. Uh, we're going to do the first one in... Uh, Ketterberg, I guess. The other one is in... Oh, they're both in Ketterberg. Who am I kidding? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> both the mini games are in Ketterberg, so that works. Uh, and because we can like land on the snow now with the refi refined flight stone, just do that. Also could do that with the uh, greater flight stone, I believe, as well. I think the greater flight stone lets you land ever anywhere. It's just that the refined one lets you create the barrier, but it also acts as the greater one too so it just completely eliminates the use for it <laughs> anywho um i think there's a guy over here you have to talk to yeah i don't know if we've ever done this before all right so what's the problem now oh, it looks like we need a bunch of money here make an investment oh man how much money does this guy need Two hundred thousand. I mean, we got 200,000 on us, so yeah, sure, we'll give it to him. This is pretty expensive for a mini game, but uh, what you have to do is you have to leave, basically to leave the town and come back. I don't think you, think you have to leave the screen, so. <laughs> you always loose with the purse strings. <laughs> I mean, we have quite a bit of money. We do need a bit more for another side quest as well. So, The other uh, thing we're going to do, well, like, we're going to come back to that. There's actually a mini game you could do there. Uh, are we hurting? No, we're doing pretty good. The other thing we want to go to is the second floor, which is the kitchen. Um, I don't remember if you can buy stuff here in terms of food. You might be able to? Yeah, you can. Uh, the food here is really expensive, though. I remember that. Yeah, look how expensive this endgame bread is. 320 a piece. Like, what the fudge is that? That's like 80, 60 bucks at an end game. I know, I know it's made there and everything, but it's a bit ridiculous. I buy, well, okay, I buy one kombu. It's like 25 bucks. I think it's like six bucks in Grand Coke, but, but whatever. All right. Do we have to go inside the restaurant in order to to do the mission? You might have to. Can you talk to this guy? Yeah. <laughs> you're late. <laughs> uh, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> so you have to actually do this mini game two times, I think. Anyway, uh, the first time for a title, and the second time for a recipe. Man, these costumes are so sick, eh? Like so, so cool. <laughs> All right. Don't think this is your first day. You could slack off. All right. <laughs> Alright, customers are going to be here soon. Do I need instructions? Uh, yeah? Certain cu customer answers, take their order. Remember the order. There's a game like this actually in uh, Tales of Symphonia too with Colette, so. Alright, we can do it. Alright, does it automatically tell you their thing? Okay, yeah. That's pretty easy. You got, I kind of like use visual cues and words and stuff, so like there's two cream and one curry. Uh, that was cream there. I think you could mess up a bunch of times and still succeed. Uh, I guess we will be do. You have to do this five times. I don't know how successful you have to be in order to do it, but uh, anyway. Curry, curry, mango, spicy. All right, curry, curry, mango, spicy. 
And they were over here too. So very both of these guys want that. And you want some tea, which makes sense because you're over there. I guess you want some tea chilling down in your seat. I'm gonna probably be talking to myself a lot just because so I don't mess this up. Because I really don't want to mess up. More customers, alright. Oh man, it's a lot. Cream spicy, two caramels, carrot. Cream spicy, two caramels and carrot. Yeah, that sounds right. Cream spicy. I don't know if I was saying this right, but I think. Oh, uh, that. Did I get that? Yeah. This definitely does get really tough. Because I don't know if you noticed, know but there's now eight options of food for us instead of four. So it got kind of tough here. Now we got probably a bunch of people. There. Curry, curry, carrot. See, mango. Ugh. Curry, curry, carrot. Doro, see, mango. Curry, curry, carrot. Or was it? Curry, carrot. Curry. Carrot, C, and mango. Okay, let's see if I do this. I'm probably gonna mess up a couple. Curry, curry, carrot. Just carrot. Oh, please don't mess this up. Ah, dang it. Okay, so I already messed one of these up. Ah! Oh, I screwed up three of them. <laughs> okay, that's gonna let me keep working, so I didn't screw up completely, so that's good. I don't think you have to be perfect. Look at all this stuff. Oh my god. You can't even see some of that stuff. So, spicy, spicy, see, mandragora, carrot, carrot, manga, seafood. Oh, I don't remember anything. I honestly, look at all this stuff. There was one of those. There was two of those. There's one of those. There's one of those, I think. One, two, three, four, five. I don't even know. Fudge. Curry was over here, right? Oh my god. Oh, I'm screwing up. Big time. Let's see if I get one of them. Hey, I got one. <laughs> it just gets so hard at the end. Oh, come on, really? I don't know. That was a little disappointing, come on. <laughs> the server was supposed to start working today. Oh, whoops. <laughs> as long as we get the title, I don't care. Alright, there we go. I don't feel so bad that I screwed up. I got the easygoing waitress. So that's not so bad. Um... So we got that, but what we want to do now is we want to put the proud maid costume on and talk to him. That's some outfit. Okay. You came to work again? <laughs> you already have me, is not enough. Alright. She'll bring it. Oh, I don't know. You saw those last two orders? She kind of screwed up a ton. <laughs> Alright. Wow, okay. You could say that, I suppose. <laughs> Challenge you to a competition! Alright, well. See which of us can earn more money. I hope I don't have to save it, and like, I hope I can't screw this up. <laughs> Let's take her money, too. <laughs> Play her game. It'll be fun for us to watch. <laughs> Luke.
All right, I don't think I think you just do the same thing. No, <laughs> yes, no, run away. No. Did I do it? Did I? Okay. Oh, sorry guys. I took a couple of times. I had to off screen because this was getting ridiculous. Um, you don't actually have to serve everyone. Just make sure you remember enough orders that you can remember in order to do it. On both those previous attempts, five and six, which are stupidly hard, I just got like four. I got five right and I got four right. Um, and that was enough. So that did it. <laughs> Luke's uh, apparently peeking over here for some reason. Man, you get some money, so that's kind of cool. I mean, it's not a crazy amount of gold. It's not like 200000 I spent on that stupid mansion, but... Uh, all right. So we get the fruit cocktail recipe. I don't know why serving is a... Uh, <laughs> it learns you a cocktail recipe, but okay, I guess it does. Okay. <laughs> so I guess cooking is uh, more important than serving and stuff. I don't know. I think you can keep doing this if you wanted to. No? Okay, yeah, you can. But anyway, we can put we can take Tira out of this cool chick costume. We just got basically what's the best recipe in the game, uh, fruit cocktail, because it recovers a large amount of TP, and it's basically what I'm going to be cooking all the time. And I can make it 16 times because obviously I'm restricted by milk. And uh, with Anish, you also use strawberries, and I think 16 divides into 96. Does it? I honestly, my math's not uh, helping me here. Oh yeah, it'd be 75 right times five. Um, like 16, yeah, that sounds right. Or, uh, yeah, <laughs> I think it does. <laughs> I'm not, uh, like I said, my mask is a bit off right now. Oh, yeah, that would work, because you only need three anyway, um, technically to make the fruit cocktail. The other ones are just extra ingredients, so yeah, that works. Yeah, like I said, my math just like, whatever, doesn't want to, doesn't want to work this morning. Is it this morning? It's not this morning anymore. Anyway, so that actually didn't take, that took a bit long, but I mean, in terms of me editing, I, I'm probably only about maybe 15, 16 minutes. Can I do this mansion thing now? Or No, I do actually have to leave town. That's kind of dumb. But at least I got that out of the way. Um, for this, as far as this mansion game goes, uh, you want to do it as Natalia, um, because she can get a title for doing it. So that's what I want to make happen. Uh, remember, we're also going to get the last recipe in the game. That's the actual reward for this quest. I guess the title is a reward, too. Uh, specifically because this title is very important for thing we're going to try to take care of in the next episode, or next part, um, which will be Din Shop. That's something I want to take care of in the next part, along with all the search points on the map, uh, showing off what that's all about and all the cool stuff we can make. We can make Natalia um, in Din Shop. You need to make her her... Uh, one of her ultimate weapons that she can use uh, her second mystic art with. So we got a lot to take care of still here. All right, what did, what do we get here? We used the floors and turned it into a maze. All right, we get in for free. Yeah, whoop we do. I mean, considering we paid two hundred thousand, so talk to the clerk here. The amazing unparalleled Labyrinth Mansion. Alright. The maze divide into five floors. You reach the ladder next to the floor within the time limit. Clear that floor. Alright. No, we're going to keep moving up. Strength reaches zero. You get caught in a trap. Alright. Would you like to play now? Yeah, let's play. And it's going to be Natalia. I don't want to stop. I want to get to the top floor. I think he's going to play that minigame music again. The one that we just heard. Oh no, it's a bit different. And I believe, um, you gotta use Mew to attack these guys. And you may have to kill everybody in order to, uh... What's the time limit? That's the thing, I don't know. Do you have to kill everybody? You may have to kill everybody. Cause there's there's a time limit counting up there, so I don't I don't know the time. Oh, that's a health gauge, I guess. And I'm stunned. I can't move. All right. Oh, I gotta get over here somehow. Oh, I even see that trap there. That's dirt. 
Was that actually there? Okay, let's play again. Natalia again. Can you use Mew Fire on these guys? Is it is it very noticeable that there's fire there? And does this change every time? Oh yeah, the trap. Oh yeah, it's a different color too. Huh? You can see that. Can you use Mew Fire here? That's a real question. Please, can you use Mew Fire? Yes, you can. Okay, that's probably the better attack to use. Yeah, I can still hit that guy. I just gotta. Yeah, there's clearly a trap door there. I can see that. I think you want to kill everybody. I think. I got hit by the same guy again. Come on. Stupid analog control. Maybe I should just be using the. D-pad. Yeah, this is a lot better, actually. <laughs> so much easier. Um, maybe I should just avoid that guy. Because there's a trap door there. I don't want to mess with that. Yeah, I kill all those dudes. There we go. Cleared in one minute. Alright. I got points? Or did I lose points? I don't know. Like, for hitting an enemy, like, getting hit by one, doesn't seem like something you get points for. Alright, well, there's very noticeably spikes there. So, how do I get around those? I guess I just don't. Alright, I guess I can't go this way, then. What? Okay, you just gotta, maybe you just gotta creep over him. Like, obviously, that's a spike floor. How am I not... Like, seriously, Mew, can you hit something, please? This is ridiculous. Alright, that's a trap, trap floor there. Ah, I tried to walk over it. Isn't there... Like, yeah, if you hold down circle with the D-pad or while walking... Uh, you can creep. I knew that was a thing. I haven't even shown that off. That's a thing. Yeah, if you hold down circle while you're walking, it makes you walk. Come on. Hit him! This is dumb. This is stupid! <laughs> uh, whatever, I don't care. Where's the other ladder? Maybe getting near it. Ugh. Maybe I should put on Mew Attack. Seemed more reliable. I say that, and then that happens. Alright, my health back. Please hit him. Thank you. There we go. No, yeah, well, you do get more points for killing guys with Mew Attack. Okay, so that's why you would use that over there. Because Mew Fire obviously has more range. There's an enemy right there. Oh, there's a time limit uh, right at the beginning. I didn't realize that. Ten minutes? It's not going to take me ten minutes to clear this floor. It's a very generous game. Oh, there's a block puzzle. I guess I'm pushing it in there. Duh. And the treasure chests have score in them. Whatever. That's not a big deal. Kill this dude. Face. Come on, kill this guy. I'm glad at least the uh, spike traps don't take you out of the game. It's just the uh, pit traps that do. <laughs> what is this, Hero Quest? <laughs> oh my god, it's totally Hero Quest. <laughs> Oh, this is relevant to those who watch those streams of mine. Alright, that's just a pit trap, right? I don't know if you can walk over pit traps, but I feel like I'm not willing to take the chance right now. I'd rather just try that on the first floor or something. Alright, got that guy. I mean, I might as well get the score from there, right? I'm really just looking for the ladder each time. Why would I step on that square? I mean, it's obviously a pit, and there'd be no reason to step there anyway. It's kind of dumb. 
But yeah, this is a nice little diversion, right, from the actual game. Like, I, I don't mind this. Mazes are pretty fun. So, it's the maze game. But it's not so bad, honestly. Like I said, it's a nice little diversion. Why would I push... Why would I even go over there? Like, I'll do this, but why would I even go over there? That's dumb. Uh, and I'm just gonna play it safe here and just kill this guy with Mew Fire. Yeah? There we go. Tons of time left. Oh yeah, you get points for filling the... Yeah, so you get points for putting the boxes in the holes there, so yeah, good thing I did that. So this is floor four, right? Now we got these enemies we have never seen ever. Uh, can I destroy these boxes? Yeah, I figured that, because I was like, what purpose does this serve? Alright, well, let's see how confu- Fodge! <laughs> how confusing this floor is. Alright, like, I mean, if I get to the ladder, then I'm- I'm definitely not backtracking. I'm, I'm not caring about getting a high score. This is a complete and utter dead end. That is really sucky. So much for me using the D-pad to run around. Yeah, whatever. Probably actually would be quicker to use the D-pad. Because this is very square-like anyway. It'd make everything easy, too, with the whole Mew Fire and Mew Attack. Sure, let's fill... Okay, we get a dead end here? Uh, I'm missing something. There's something here that uh, I'm not uh, keying in on. There must be a way to go here that I didn't notice. I mean, there's gotta be. What didn't I notice? Because that's a pit trap. Right? Oh, it's not a pit trap. Haha. Uh -huh. That's kind of dirty, actually, because, um... Wouldn't you think that it is a pit trap based on the past two games? Eh, whatever. Is that just like a trial and error thing, or is there a way to tell? I can't really tell. <laughs> I guess I'll just have to get lucky then, and hope I don't step into a pit trap. Really, I'm just looking for the ladder. Didn't I see it? Wasn't that at the bottom? I think it was. Maybe that's why I given given so much time here. I don't know. I guess those special enemies are the ones that restore your health, presumably. I guess if I don't need to step on a trap, then there's no need to to find out. Maybe I can jump this one. Okay. I, I'm just gonna. Say it's safe to assume that all of these are a okay to jump over. Although that one is probably a pit trap, right? Oh no, it'll lead me down here. This is where I want to go. I'm pretty sure the ladder's over here. I hope so. <laughs> it's in this general vicinity. Can I reach it from here? That's a real question. Come on, kill him. Oh yeah, it's right here. I wonder if that would have been an actual pit trap. <laughs> Use springboards. Alright, we got one last floor here, guys. Alright, this, this is like my third attempt doing this now. I'm kind of editing out my last one. This place kind of sucks because it's kind of hard to distinguish between the springboards and the trap doors. Maybe this floor just doesn't have any springboards. That might have just been last floor's mechanic. So I just gotta be careful and to avoid them. Any any of the differently colored spaces I should just avoid in general. Uh, I think there's just points over here, I wanna say. Yeah, uh, I mean if I can kill this guy, which I'm not gonna bother because that's not even worth the risk really. I mean I guess if I wanted to go for a high score I would, but I don't care that much, so it's whatever. Uh, cool little mechanic here. I don't, you have to use Mew Wing to open these. There's another one. At least one other one that I saw. Um, I don't know if you can come in here without Mew Wing. Maybe this just leads to optional areas? I'm not really sure. But, uh, I can't, 
I don't see why you wouldn't be able to come in here without Mew Wing, so... Because all you need to come in here is money. Like I said, Mew Wing is optional. Oh, that's a trap door. Oh, you can destroy this probably with the fire, right? No, you can't. Can you... You can get it. Okay, so you just gotta be really careful. Yeah, because that's a trap door. I'm pretty sure all of these are, so yeah, I guess it's just a big dead end. Just for a bunch of points. Yeah. I'm pretty sure all of those spaces are all trap doors. I ain't dealing with it. Any stupid spike traps, searching for traps. These spots, this floor looks suspici suspicious. Ugh. Alright, I wasn't over here yet, so maybe this is the actual way to go. So yeah, Mew Wing might just be an optional thing uh, for in here for points. But like, I, I, I really quite enjoying this little diversion here. Wait, what the heck? Am I dead end? This is where I started. Uh-oh. This is bad. So what, is there actually some springboards and some aren't springboards? Am I missing it out here? I'm missing something here. But I'm not 100% sure. Oh, this is rough. Maybe you can, yeah, I guess you can be able to just help me with wing. I mean, obviously I wouldn't want to step on there because I couldn't get anywhere from there. I mean, one of these got that can't be a springboard. This has to be one then. This one over here. This has to be a springboard. Okay. <laughs> Just based on my process of elimination, like, that's a dead end. <laughs> Alright. I don't know, get some gauntlet vibes from this. I know gauntlet isn't a pure maze, but, I don't know, kind of getting that vibe from this, too. Kill this guy, too. Or these boxes, I don't like them. Actually, maybe I should have only gotten rid of the one, because then I could use that as, like, a guide. Where I was. What a weird way to activate those switches. Just fly up. Fill in this hole for no other reason than felt like it. I mean, this spring this might be a springboard here just for the sole reason that's in a dead end. Uh, and there looks to be no other way to get over there besides that. That might be where the ladder is and actually where the end of the maze is too. Am I willing to try it though? That's a real that's obviously it trap, though. Oh, no, that's the end of the maze there, because there's actually a person there. Alright, that's the that's the goal there. That's gotta be the goal. Either that or this guy's just trapped. I don't mind if this is the end, to be honest. Okay. <laughs> it is. I don't mind not getting a high score. It's not necessary. You're amazing, Natalia. Alright, so Natalia gets a Labyrinth Princess title. She only gets this if you um, do it as Natalia, so. So make sure you do that. But you, I should still get the actual reward for doing this, too. Take this prize. Here, make some toast. <laughs> oh, is that it? Okay, I thought there was actually dialogue. There we go, guys. We have all 20 recipes in the game. Toast? We could have got this a while ago. Uh, it says small. Uh, like, even though it's, like, at, right after the moderate recipe, it's kind of similar how stew is right after the large. There is no recipe that will restore a large amount of HP and TP. Um, but, I mean, this does, I think this restores, like, like a moderate amount of HP and TP. I think it would be, like, more than these. Uh, toast, as far as this goes, it will be more than this stuff, too, so. It's not like it'll not recover anything. And to look how easy this is to, uh, make. You only need bread and milk, really. It's not so hard to get. Uh, so, a very easy recipe to make for its healing properties, so. Anywho, so we got all 20 recipes in the game. Uh, we're going to try to get Annis to master all of them. She's still got a ways to go, uh, because I think the only one she's really got work on after curry is udon noodles. Yeah. She's going to master fruit cocktail really fast, because <laughs> trust me, that will get made a lot. But anyway, guys, that's going to do it for me this video. Thanks for watching this very, uh, the pastime of nobility. 
Oh yeah, look, there's the there's the skit for learning how to cook everything. Um, next time we are going to probably do some overworld stuff uh, involving Din Shop and the search points. Uh, getting the Labyrinth Princess title was very helpful. You'll see why next time on Tales of the Abyss. I've been Odin's back 33. Take care and bye bye now.